Mantis? What happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great, I did not want to know that. I Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you were able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough! I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no. Not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good, because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Hey, Rocket, working on something? I'm always working on something. You're not listening to my tunes? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, no you aren't. You don't even have headphones on. I got multiple brain chips, Quill. I don't need no headphones. Whoa. Music straight into your brain. That's amazing! What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skull Suit doesn't show up in time. Nice, what is it? You'll see. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> what? What did what, he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked unifier? <laughs> the, the grand humidity. I am Groot. Hey, uh, bug lady. You see anything about this mission we should know about? I don't see much. Or rather, I see too much. So many realities converging. Does Lady Hellbender ever stand us up? Only in a few versions. Usually when Star Guy does a bad speech. Oh, um, and also in one version where he grabs her butt.
he really likes closing bridges. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. Not a bad idea. We don't know what's going to happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Ugh, guns. I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Bet those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him? Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you, I'm getting Nikki out of there. No matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. Gamora Zen Huberi. You wish to practice hand to hand techniques. It's still weird when you say my actual name. I am getting used to it. We've come a long way since murderous sorceress. Wasn't it what you were calling me back on my first mission with the team? Yes. At first I believed you had bewitched Peter Quill. I could see no other reason he would hire an assassin for a protection contract. Really? No other reason than magic? Well, you could also have seduced him. He lacks mental fortitude in the presence of women. True. If I remember right, he spent most of that protection contract flirting with the waitresses. So, a uh, bug girl, how come you can understand Groot so well? You've only known him a few cycles. Telenesan is a common language in some realities. The Jatauri don't always blow up Planet X. I am Groot. Yep. There's a dimension where I learned to speak it from a very aggressive compost vendor on Nowhere. <gasps> Groot loves compost. Alright, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. No, 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 not like that. What is it? Your angle of attack was off. You have to go at it from the inside out, especially since Raker's body armor has inward folds. Ah. Tactically sound observation. I noticed it made a big difference when I had to assassinate a congregation of Badoon dignitaries. They were wearing so many layers. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm gonna barf. twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocky, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! 
Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Look at those rules. Our deception is working. Don't sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? Guardians of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknaf 9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of the nice lady's murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing base are way in, but there's still a lot of pain between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risk it. Boom! We're taking fire! Hey! Anyone spot any damage from that explosion I rigged last time we were here? Oh yes, little fuzzy! It's right! Oh, no, wait! Different you must make the most again. of this diversion! Thought you'd rather watch Boom's rampage! Crap! That's a lot of turrets! Kill him or dodge him! We gotta get through there! I long for battle, Peter Quill! Get us inside! Working on it, big guy! I think you're finally figuring Everybody. out how to fire her, Quill! Mantis, you sure you can fly her? Yes! Come to us! Hang on, maybe you should. Two arms! The enemy approaches!
some cultures, this is considered hospitality. was quite the spectacle. Wish Boob had chalked my tubes. I'll enjoy this! The hangar's wide open! They can attack from anywhere! As long as the ships don't spot us, we should be okay! Really missing my tubes right now, Rocket! why they took him prisoner instead of just killing him. And there's a lot of faith Scott beaming into this place. He almost kicked our butts when he was all sad and mopey. Warlock hates Magus. He already evicted the thing once. Maybe they made up. You booted me in Groot, but here we are. I did not. You left. My point stands. No. If Magus had turned Warlock, he would have been here to greet us. Why is she spinning? Don't worry about my flying. Just worry about your shooting. Go meet new people soon. Already here, Mantis. Oh, they hide for me. Celestial. 
Kill Madara sends your greetings. Fight without fear. They have fully embraced the promise. And there's millions more where they came from. Let's hope Mantis and Lady Hellbender keep most of them busy outside. The door's flarked. Scut. We need to go that way. See if you can overload it. Are they still mad at us? Okay, okay, sorry we left such a mess last time we were here. No, we ain't! Wrap them up, fuck! At least Mantis hasn't crashed the Milano. I believe the insect witch will prove quite capable as a pilot. Turn them up, Nora! We win! We get first dibs on all the salvage, right? Lady Hellbender may have an opinion on that. Drag destroyed! Imagine the havoc Lady Hellbender must be wreaking outside! Probably destroyed half the armada by now, Drag! Using only your spear hands! Yeah. I love playing Zappazelli! Stop that spear nose for service! Chop him up! Never been in a church? Yes, I have. This one, twice. Ah! Is it really the safest route? Lord, no! But safe ain't my top priority right now! Quill, I bet you could pull up the rest of them floor panels!
Peter Quill, your feeble body cannot overpower such tremendous gusts! this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go. Nothing to it! Yep, signal's coming from somewhere inside that giant frickin' rock. Yeah, that scrap heap's taking pot shots at our monsters! Enemies ahead, Peter Quill! Okay, we got this. Come, Come test your metal! <laughs> I sat on this whacked out soldier! The space battle is frenzy! We have a higher chance of surviving down here! How are we holding up? We're good, but my trigger finger has gone numb from all the murder and. Armor! Think we could have started out here? We should get back inside! Peter got hit! Shocking! It is best to avoid the levitating pods, Peter Quill! What's next, Peter? Get the point!
Rocket, can you pop the lock on that door? Yeah, yeah. Just let me do it. Ah! There you are! Well, that didn't work. The uh, panel's flarked. But I got a better idea. Hang on. Out of the way! Rocket time! Ah! And that's how it's done! Excellent work, little fuzzy. You don't get to call me that. <laughs>
destroy! We should switch to the hard stuff! Nice to me! See the battle. You mean you might miss a peek at Lady Hellbender? Uh, and Fin Fang Foom. Do you think Foom holds a grudge? We bested him in his own lair. He will forever recognize us as his superiors. Yeah, well, he's Lady Hellbender's pet now, and she does hold a grudge. That is true. Lady Hellbender to show up here. 
I wasn't sure we were ever gonna find Foom. Ah, we did that, not just me. You're the one who brought us all together. And kept us together. Against our... Music back, Will. You were the one who chucked it into space. Hey, it worked, didn't it? No harm done. Psychological harm was done. I got this. Back into a hole. Great. You like holes. Crap, giant robot. I hate these things. Not even sure it is totally robot. What does that mean? It's running on faith energy, right? That comes from people. Throw that, Drax! I will not be trapped in here! I give that man some room! This thing's pretty tough for an old machine! Keep your breathing room, group! They grab the lock! <laughs> Oh, I hope that's the 
got a monster queen watching out for us. I can give that man some room. Let's try that again, shall we? Are you ready? This has got my name on it. My great strength goes underutilized. Really think those things have people in them? It wouldn't be the weirdest thing we've seen. They're creepy either way. Come on, we gotta go topside again to reach Warlock. If we survive this, we should invite Lady Hellbender to join the team. Uh, there ain't no room for her on the ship. She's like three quills high. One and a half quills, at best. Her armor alone must weigh six quills. You know what? Let's vote on it. Do we invite Lady Leotard? Nope. Yes. No. Nope. Peter Quill. She probably still wants to murder me, so I'm gonna be a no. In her defense, that describes most people. Yes. Ah. Running! Oh. Mark and Halla! Yes! Well played, Lady Hellbender! <laughs> now that was unexpected. Uh, fortune favors us. We were not sucked into the lethal void. Unless Raker shuts off the gravity. Just have to hope he's too busy with the ritual to think of it. Are we sure Warlock's all the way over on the other side? Yeah, as long as we keep moving forward, we're going the right way. We have found purpose. We will not die here. If we do, we will see you on top. A correction, I will see you on top. The rest of you will see whatever heathen paradises you believe in. And I will ask if there is room for you in mine. Just following my gut on something. Perhaps Lady Elder can join us in our final battle against the Magus. Something tells me she's got her hands full. They are large hands. Strong hands. Yeah, I get it. several rotations on the outside of a ship, stalking a well-protected target. Finally, she decided she had too many guards, so I pulled her out of the porthole. I wonder if she's still floating out there somewhere. This is it. We're almost... Is that you in there? Da! Spasiba, Guardian of Galaxies, for helping Cosmo shake away promise. He is no longer chasing stick that is snake. And look, Cosmo is bringing no Yeah, we noticed. And family. Say privet, my pops. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. Ha! Cosmo is very much like filthy fleas. You are thinking he is gone. Until he is biting on your ass. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Nerd. Cosmo is best of boys. <laughs> now we give these brain fleas the bites they deserve. Attack! I had no idea nowhere could fire death beams. This is sweet. And that dog has his paw on the nuke button. I'm gonna have to be nicer to him. We should keep moving. We are moving. Well, we should be doing it faster. Once we get inside that rock, chances are we're gonna have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Grand Unifier again. 
and will stomp on his toes. I've only got one of his arms. I'm dying to complete my collection. Wait, something's what's that? signal is way stronger in here. We're getting close. Something tells me Raker's cronies won't make this easy. Neither will we. We're here for Adam Warlock. Just bring him to us and we'll let you go. They ain't listening. These fanatics only understand violence! Looking less and less like a warlock prison. Stop him short, group! Are we late for the fulfillment again? Anything feel different? Maybe they don't have a real prison! It makes sense to keep it down here! They would here. not try to stop us, had they already won! Zomp that weirdos deserve it! What's next, Peter? Croaked another cultist! Like a hawk, if we don't stop Magus this time, it's all over! We were four 
reward for this. It's right there in our team name. Hey, fight! Or combatants, Peter Quill. Will you attempt to reason with them as well? It won't work. Just put them down. Mitsu! Hard to believe these tunnels used to be filled with miners instead of freaks! I bet most of these freaks used to be miners! Let's keep pushing. The signal's pinging from deeper in the mines. This whole church sprung up from a bunch of miners. Wish they'd suck to digging. It's all you, Gamora! About time! Can't wait to empty my guns in the Magus' face. If it has one. Going to unleash a whole lot of spark toy pain on that galactic sphincter. Come back here and fill up our cargo hold. Sell the ore on the black market? Payment for a job well done? Seems fair to me. Well, we ain't making that jump. Peter's got this. He does? Peter Quill possesses the magical weapons. From your safety inspectors, present your documents and we will judge their accuracy. Rex, you gotta do it fast. Like so. Safety inspection! Blam! You fail! Oh, whoa! 
What a waste! Mines like this were the backbone of the war resistance. Blam! You have failed your safety inspection. Good dead, Drax. Correct. You know what to do, Quill. Can't wait to chew out Goldilocks for getting his butt kicked back on nowhere. It's unwise to insult your brothers in battle. Since when? You gave me and Gamora endless scut back on Sephiroth. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. That seems needlessly treacherous. I know, but it might pay off. Are you fooled? Once we're staring down the ritual again, what do we do different this time? Relentless and excessive violence. Perfect answer. What if Raker and his forces are perceived as martyrs? By who? Any church member has already accepted the promise. You may have a point, though. Cults don't just go away. Thanos still has worshippers. Ho 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 ho! Guys! It's like Christmas back here! Me again! Ho ho ha ha ha! My fur is standing on end. There's way more power here than there was at the Cortex. Root feels it, too. Bad energy. Bad mojo. Yeah, a little heavier, but totally worth it. Just be careful on those jumps. This old workbench is kind of crusty, but I do some of my best work with crusty tools. All right, Rocket, let's prep for the big game. Let's do it smart. This may be the last chance we get. One shiny upgrade, nice and crafted. Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Okay, I think I'm ready to end this. You and me both. What the? Hey look, they get the Adam Warlock channel all the way out here. Speaking of Goldilocks, he should be right on the other side of that giant murder bot army. You've gotta be kidding. They've got it locked down with a faith shield. Think we can unplug it like we did on Nowhere? Worth a shot. Aggression by the Universal Church of Truth cannot be tolerated. Lethal force has been authorized. Surrender will not be considered. Holy Scott, they came back. Of course they did. Give them hell, world mine! Guardians of the Galaxy. Evacuate this vessel. Before we fire our opponent. Hold that thought. Adam Warlock's on this ship. Incorrect. Adam Warlock perished in the Galactic War. He's here, alive. He is still alive, right? The Church are ducked out of the Golden God. We intend to free him. You said it yourself. Adam Warlock is the only one with the potential to stop this. Very well, Adam. We will 
Finally come to confront the captive, castigate him for how far he's fallen. Just shut your mouth for once. God, clear shot. Don't. We can't risk a fight from up here. You show up on the very eve of our ascension. To what? Take everything from us once again? Me? Tell me what I ever took. My faith! And not just mine. You abandoned your flock. The very church you helped me build. You let us believe our god was dead, and with you, any hope of restoring those we lost. I thought that... You promised me, my son! I promised only partnership. You sought subjugation. My mistakes were many, but your mania is not among them. Enough! Enough of this! The true divine vessel awaits. You're nothing but a husk. A faded shadow. But even you will feel the light. Hear me. Halt this horror. Raker! Guardians, breach my bindings. Even now, Raker readies his restoration ritual. Rocket, can you bust him out? If I gotta... Let me guess. Raker's power proved more pernicious than predicted? There is little point pondering possibilities past, daughter of Thanos. Soon feverous faith will flood Raker's fledgling and feed the fiend within. Not gonna happen. We're gonna shut it down together. Right? Right. Okay, let's go, people. Come! Time dwindles as we dawdle. Could put him back up there. Don't tempt me. If Magus finds physical form, its insatiable cravings will consume all of creation. Unless you eat Magus first. A severe simplification. We must excise the entity gripping the girl. But how much of Nikki will remain? If her light lives, it lingers lost, dissolving in a dream discarded. A pleasant dream. Drax completely bought into the promise, and we got him out. I would have remained with the good. I am good. Well, end of the world here, remember? Hurry, go! Ah! <laughs> we 
rejoice! You made it just in time for the miracle! Grand Unifier, I trust you can hold them to bear witness. Easily. I'll get back to you soon, girl. We just gotta save the galaxy first. No wonder she wants this so bad. We look so happy. Shoddy knockoff. Stitching's all loose. Can't believe I didn't see through it last time. You stay here. I'll holler if I need you. This is so weird. How do I get Nikki to see it? your help. Mom will be home for lunch soon and I want everything to be perfect. Uh, Nikki. For her birthday. That's today. Did you forget again? Okay. I know this is gonna sound weird. Great. So can you help me set everything up like we said yesterday? I just need help with the hollow projector and then um, there's the cake and the present that we got her. I want everything to be perfect before she gets home. Nikki. None of this seems oddly familiar to you? Oh no, I ordered it from the bakery planet. Okay, that part was always weird. Nah. Okay.
Okay, that just leaves the present and projector. Happy birthday, love Nikki and Peter. What am I supposed to do? Did you find it? Yes. Okay, put it with the others. Great, a gift. Put it on the table. Does anything I say here actually matter? We got it. On Nowhere. Remember that artist's alley we went to in the painting she really liked? Of Cree Lara? Guess that answers my question. All that's left. Okay, Nick. What if I told you none of this is real? Uh, obviously not. It's not focused right or something. Can you refocus it? Yeah, okay. That's still pretty cool. It turned out so good. I was sure I messed part of it up. Speaking of messed up... Yeah. It's hollow, and the star system around it, and I think I got all the moons. It's beautiful, Nikki. Any chance we can talk now? I don't think so. How does it look? Looks like you're knee-deep in this promise. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Oh, boy. Peter, open the door. Yes, ma'am. I'll make sure everything's perfect. You get the door. Oh, am I ever glad to see you. It is crazy weird in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. If we're gonna do this... I'm dead, Peter. Yeah, but... Not like dead, dead. Right? I heard your voice. No, y you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. You're seeing a ghost. Some part of me is inside the soul stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way. You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago. Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... Tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm not a father. No. Well, not her father. Well. Okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents. Whatever it is, it's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Where's mom? That was her, right? She's not coming. Of 
course she's coming. I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. Hey! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. No! I can fix this. Not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and... and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... Won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... The promise, Nick. I know a con when I see one. This isn't about you. I know how you must feel. Very hurt and angry. No, you don't! Right, like, not exactly how you feel. I just meant that... I don't care what you meant. I don't want anything to do with you. Right. Okay. I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her... If I'd been quicker... I know what you're doing. I did the same thing. Holding on to all this guilt about the way it happened instead of... It's not the same. And even if it is... I know, I... It's just hard to see you go through what I went through. There's so many things I wish I could go back and tell myself. Would you have listened? the line, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. And you know your mom? For all her faults? She's not the galaxy eating type. It doesn't matter what I think, because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. Okay. I know it's not her. Unless I believe it's her. So as long as I believe... Nikki, no! Believe with me. Don't destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Where's mom? That was her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. 
Destroy the life here. Hey! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. No! Okay, it's fine. Stop it! Stop it! Stop ruining this! She has to go. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and... and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... The promise, Nick. I know a con when I see one. This isn't about you. Why are you even here? I remember feeling this cavernous... I don't care how you felt! Wow, um... That was brutally honest. I've seen your promise. I've seen hundreds of thousands of promises. None of them helped me! I know! I know. I just want you to know that I've been through some version of what you're going through. Yay! I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. I hadn't distracted her. If I'd been quicker. You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. Why not? It's true. If I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. It could be her. I don't hear anything. Seriously? Hear what? The knocking. There's clearly someone at the door. Or something. Unless I believe it's her. So as long as I believe... Nikki, no. Believe with me. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. her, right? She's not coming. Of course she's coming. I guess that was just... just Carlos telling us she's running late. Which means I still have time to get the music just right. Destroy the lie. Hey! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Nick. No! Fix this. Stop it! Stop it! Stop ruining this! Mom will still come. It's not real, Nikki. None of this is real. I hate you! You're not my dad! You're not my... Yeah, kiddo. I know. You ruined it. 
You ruined everything! Mom was gonna come in and, and... All I want is to see her. Whatever walks through that door... won't be your mom. You don't know that. Well, there's a lot I don't know. How to keep my foot out of my mouth. How to not get arrested. How to console a 12-year-old whose very legitimate grief might just destroy the galaxy. But this... The promise, Nick. I know a con when I see one. This isn't about you. You're right. I'm not gonna pretend to know what you're going through or what you're feeling. I don't even know what I'm feeling. It's like... Empty and heavy at the same time. I keep seeing her, but then as soon as I focus, I... Is this what it's always going to be like? I don't know. It's different for everyone. There was no one like your mom. She really, really loved you. I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will, and that... And then it's all my fault. If I hadn't distracted her. You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. Why not? It's true. If I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. It could be her. Only you can reject a lie, Nick. All I can tell you is me. I don't think it's her. I think it's a very bad thing that wants to eat the entire galaxy. Mom, for all her faults, was not the galaxy eating type. But it doesn't matter what I think because it's not my promise. I can't destroy it for you. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. Anyone? Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? <laughs> Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. <sighs> There's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing my mom taught me. The idea is that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. I mean, it's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but... You know, it's, it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. I keep thinking back to the elevator. 
She was angry at me. Not that angry. More like, uh, lovingly concerned. something I do have to do alone. Toast. Focus on Raker's fan club. Turn him down, crew! The healing priest's reeling! Kablamo! So siphoning must cease! Yeah! <laughs> 
ours! We shall carve our name in the history books, Peter Quill, and it will not be spelled incorrectly! You think we're in trouble? From these guys? Well, I say trouble is our middle name. Who said we were in trouble? When we're slicing scutch with a knife or a blade, when we're shooting fast and Groot's making shades, that's what I call trouble. Who's with me? That's that one! Our Quill? You need Let us 
must finish this! Your time has come! Used all of us. No! 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 Please, not... Not when we're so close. Before you, your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our door mass is awaiting. So, we actually won? Fucking right we did. We must save the entire galaxy more often. Count me in. Next time, I, I promise I won't almost destroy it first. No more promises from you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this moment, people. Let's make sure we bask in. <laughs> we have multiple dog report items to discuss. Case is closed. No need. Guardian of Galaxies, live up to name. They had some help. Oh gosh! Who are all these little guys? If Guardian are looking for more work, Cosmo always chasing problems. I think what we need right now is a nice walk. Deems me delicate? <laughs> and who is this precious little candy in his golden wrapper? <laughs> Ew, gross. Uh, I, uh, Lady Hellbender, we regret the death of so many great beasts, but we honor their sacrifice. They died protecting their pack. There is honor in that. Will you return to Segnarf 9? 
We must first build a worthy home for Foom, or he will devour every creature on my world. If he gets loose again, give us a call, and we can discuss rates. As we calculated, the Golden God proved key to dismantling the Universal Church of Truth. A sound summation. How about a little credit for not letting you make the worst decision of your collective lives? Twice. Twice. Your additional data analysis did adjust certain computational... Ow. You can just feel the world but clenching. What, wild beast? <laughs> what foul fluid! Foolish, fickle creature! Uh, behold, one of the other guardians of the galaxy. I am Groot. What did he say? Yeah, that'll show you to your room. Except we don't got a spare room, you big lug. I am Groot. What? No. Flark, no. Hey, Groot, you give her yours. I got a lot of important scud in mind. I'm glad it's this ending, and not the really sad one. How many sad endings were there? Ugh, a lot. Oh. <sighs> Please proceed. Ah, you go ahead. No need. I insist. No, I insist. Please, proceed. This pointless pageant of politeness plagues our progress. Which is why you should go first. Very well. I will voyage through the vexing vestibule. What now? Uh, I don't know. Sky's the limit, I guess. Clearly it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. No! I, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. <laughs> you okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <clears throat> Nothing of note. Okay. Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, 
I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Ooh, maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh, shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know, unpromise? Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. Oh, you don't look so good. Where's the first aid kit? I have basic field training. We do not own a first aid kit. What are you talking about? We have a first aid kit. Engine tape doesn't count. We probably just need some ginger ale. Don't worry about little old me. I feel simply... Fabulous. Come on! Mark! <laughs> Magus. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the one where Golden God Guy is consumed by the bad thing and tries to destroy the galaxy. And probably succeeds. Why does it feel like bug girls inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Magus can't overhear your super amazing plan. Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. Destiny makes three. And we're all gonna die. My final form. The new norm. The stone. When that thing attacked my mom and me, it was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, yes! The ancient stone! One of the six. It's the only thing strong enough to contain the all-powerful soul of Magus. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly. Time. Wine. Vexing specs. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new idea. By doing what you do best, Guardians. <clears throat> nah, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating me. If anyone can piss off a god... It is us. <laughs> do it! Kneel and revere your god. For who better to oversee everything than me? Oh. For the very small fee of your soul. You're in my reality now. So near. We're not gonna do anything? <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Applaud your god. Nope. You grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! Then why are you clapping? Keep remarking, you idiot. What? <laughs> I said kneel! Oh, Flark! Are you kidding me? Stand back! I got this! Nikki, yeah. no! Get out of there! Trust me! Yes, this is right! This is the way! Everyone to Nikki! Now! You heard, Bug Lady! Move! Go, go. Everyone, stay close! How the Flark can she? I got this. Okay, that was amazing. How did you? No idea. Just... Yeah, yeah. So far, so good, Guardian. But you're not out of the woods yet. This is where I make it unfair. <laughs> Any of this is 
something to throw him off. Yes, infuriate him with your carelessly chosen words. Beleaguered brats like little gnats. Cat, bat, muskrat, mat. You can rhyme. We get it. Seriously, how is it possible for you to have gotten even more obnoxious? Cat, bat, splatty, splat, splat. Laundromat. You begin to annoy me. It's what we do. Combat, format, diplomat. <laughs> That doesn't even make sense! Ah! We don't make sense? Ever since we met you, you've been nothing but a giant pile of word vomit! And now you gotta rhyme everything too? Inconsequential ingrates! Okay, pretty sure we derailed him. Ah! He's doing the planet thing! Nikki, you ready to save our butts again? Just be careful! Hey, I'm the one with cool powers now, remember? It's definitely growing on me! Everyone to the kid! I don't say it enough, so I'm just gonna say it. I fucking love you guys! Everyone good? Well done, child. Okay, I definitely think we're getting to him. We just gotta hold out a little longer. Bye bye! Time to die! Do your thing, Gamora! Too far away! 
standing to her! Sooner or later, everyone will fall before me. The entire galaxy will fall. Guys, the stone's being weird. Now is the time, Guardians! Reel them in, Quill. Only way to get a clear shot. Submit to me! I said submit! Now, Star Guide! It has to be now! Time to get it through your oversized skull. We don't give in to anyone! I mean, seriously, have you met us? That's right! We're the Guardians of the Galaxy! We have business cards! And we'd rather die than submit to you! You dare defy a god? Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst! <sighs> Your mockery mocks my very... Gotta be okay. Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. Paid. <laughs> Not yet, but does this mean it's over? Like over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell Destroy it. it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy! You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis. The chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, 
the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. Do you know, the second you feel any indigestion, I shall call upon your crew. Motley though you may be, I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for all the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> the mark of a man is to be bridled. None other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that... I'm not the one you gotta convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well... Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced.
It's fine. Really, I can sleep on the couch. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl, she's a girl. You can play dolls together. Things wrong with that? Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion. <sighs> so you just have to build another bedroom and maybe a bathroom and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so, obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably going to be just, uh... It'll be fine. Come on. <laughs> if you can handle Raker and the Magus, pretty sure you can handle a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little guidance here, some homework there, throwing a few vegetables. <laughs> Where the flark are you gonna get vegetables? I guess Gru could make vegetables. Yes! Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask him. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there, I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... Wow, uh... They are not fit to be around children! Drax is a convicted mass murderer. Rocket is volatile and mean on a good day. Gamora's only parental model is Thanos and Groot. Groot can only say three words! And you know what? Nikki's a part of that now. She's one of the family. And family means sticking together no matter what. Even if you gotta wing it every step of the way. <laughs> My man. Peter Quill! Peter Quill, we have decided the child will take your room. You will take the couch. It was unanimous. Wait, 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 what? Okay, we'll talk. How are we on those coordinates? Alrighty, just give the word. Where are we going again? <laughs> to buy more business cards. <laughs>